Hello, welcome to PushCore. Today we're removing weld spatter from car body door openings. As we jump into this application, please like the video and if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. You'll see a variety of applications aimed to give you solutions for automating your material removal processes. As the body side outer of a unitized car frame is welded to the body side inner reinforcements, the expulsion from the welds can leave weld spatter around the door opening frame. Our goal was to remove the spatter without compromising the frame's galvanized coating. If the spatter isn't removed, or if you burn through that galvanized coating, it will cause paint issues down the line. Bristle brushes, in combination with the compliance device, combine to create a robust solution. The brushes are able to conform into the complex geometry of the door frame, while the compliance device applied the brush at a constant force, creating a consistent finish and extending the life of the bristle brush. The PushCorp AFD310 compliance device was a great fit for the force control required in this application. It utilizes active force control that outputs a constant pressure despite changes in orientation relative to gravity. We fully utilized that feature in this application as we rotated 363 degrees within the door frame. Another key feature to the AFD310 is the ability to change force within your robot program. As we moved around the part, the contact size varied due to the changing features of the door opening, changing the unit pressure. You can see it's much wider down here than in this thin area here. At areas with a smaller contact patch, we could reduce the force output of the compliance device to keep a similar unit pressure to the rest of the part. This helps achieve a consistent finish through the whole path. In between the brush and the compliance device, a spindle is needed to spin the media. PushCorp has a variety of servo spindles that pair well with this application as they offer high torque and constant RPM. They allow you to control your RPM as your brush wears down in diameter to maintain a constant surface feet per minute. So your finish at the beginning and end of your brush's life stays the same. In the demo, we used a PushCorp SM0605 spindle. It offers a max speed of 6,000 RPM and five horsepower. Its manual ER collet is often preferred in these applications due to the long life of the media. However, an STC0605 BT30 has the same specifications while offering an automatic tool changing function. This is a good option if you need to run multiple grits or swap fresh media automatically. Lastly, PushCorp offers tool holders to hold the bristles. They're available in both a manual ER and BT30 styles, depending on your tool changing needs. They feature a recessed nut that allows you closer access to sidewalls and come in a variety of lengths. With all our tooling and media specced out, all that was left to do was to bolt it on our 210 kilogram Kawasaki robot and get to work. Check it out. If you're interested in automating your material removal application, please send us an email to sales at pushcorp.com. Check out our other videos to see past applications such as sanding, grinding, and deburring. We'll link a playlist below to get you started. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.